What's going on guys, Burrito here, and today we're back with another YouTube video. Today we're going to be going over self rolls and the reaction rolls. I know I've made a video like this in the past, but we're going to be doing it with Yag PDB today. I would say this is one of the best bots, but also one of the trickiest to do it with. So let's jump right into it. I just wanted to say before the video starts, I got my wisdom teeth removed about two days ago. So uh, if my voice and my words are a little bit slurred or scuffed, that's my bad. I'll try my best to make it clear this video. But let's jump into the video. So we're going to go on to our internet. All right, we're going to look up yagpdb.xyz. So once you look this up, you're going to get into their server and you're going to want to add it to your server. All right. All right, it's very simple to add it to your server. You're just going to press add to server up in the top. And then it's going to ask you which one to add it to. We're going to be adding it to this one, how to start a Discord server. Continue. Make sure it has all of these roles, all right, or these permissions. It's very simple. Don't take it away because this bot is very trusted and that's all it needs to do to operate. So we're going to authorize it. Then sometimes it asks you to just click this. And then you're good to go. You're in the control panel and you're good. So we're going to go back to Discord and we're going to go to how to start a Discord. Uh, we're going to create a little channel real quick. All right, so we're going to go to the staff category and create a bot commands. All righty, now that we have the bot commands, you guys can see EGAG PDB is here. So we're going to give it the bot role. And before the like we start doing all the technicalities, we're going to want to make the roles for our group, like our reaction roles. So we're going to go to server settings. And while we're doing this, make sure you drag the EGAG PDB role up to the top. I usually put it below me six if you have it and if you don't have me six just drag, drag it to the top we're going to create the roles so the group is just going to be called like burritos so we're going to call it burrito one and then so on so we're going to make it green then we're going to do burrito two i'll make this one blue then we'll do burrito three and make it purple then we're just going to drag it above member just so it looks cool this is all your per your ideas like now you're just adding which roles you want to be in the reaction roles category so once you have all that done you're going to want to go back to the internet and you're going to want to go to uh log in using discord all right if you're not logged in it's very simple you just press this and you're good to go look at that so you're going to select your server we're going to be doing how to start a discord and then you're going to go to tools and utilities we're going to go to role commands and you're good look at that all right, so you're going to create a new group real quick. All right, so um, what am I going to call it? I'm gonna just going to call it burritos. Uh, you're going to want to keep it standard and then ignore all these and you're good to go. You just create the new group. And then you'll see that it's saved up in the top. For extra measures, if you'd like, you could press the save button. Uh, and then you're good. So you're going to want to add the roles to this group. So you're going to go to the command and we did burrito one and then you see it already added to the burrito run one roll create the new roll command we're gonna be doing burrito two i already did the roll and then i just want to show you so it, it's it's all it's automatically doing this it already sees that we have these roles so if i were to put burrito four you're gonna see that it doesn't just make that you see how it stays owner but if i go to three it realizes oh there's a role for that then you're good to go you're just gonna press save we're going to press it three times just to make sure we're good to go. And then you're good. You can also do another group for this, but we're just going to be doing one right now. If you guys want more groups, more roles, you guys can rewatch this video and just keep doing what I'm doing. So we're going to go back here and we're going to ping the bot. And we're just going to say uh, ping. All right. It's just telling us what it's ping right now. Uh, it's This is just to make sure it's online and stuff like that. So we're going to do slash role menu create and then you're going to do the name of the group that you made so if you guys remember earlier the group that i made was burritos so we're going to go burritos roll menu setting up and you're going to want to add the react to the emoji for the roll command burrito 3 so we're just going to add the monka s for burrito 2 it's going to be pepe okay then burrito 3 it's going to be pepe hands all right then you're good to go you're that's it. You're you're done. Very simple, very good, very easy. You guys are probably wondering, well, why is it in the bot commands? This is just to make sure you did it correct. Once this is good to go, you're just gonna make it in wherever you want. So we're gonna create a category self rolls. 
And we're going to put it right there. We're going to make another sub channel called self rolls again. Then we're just going to redo what we just did. Roll menu. Create. Burritos. Then react to the emoji. Manga S. Pepe OK. And then Pepe hands. You're good to go. Just delete these messages right here. And look at that. You're good to go. So you guys can see that I only have one roll right now. When I react to these three, I get these three rolls. And the same thing goes for the self rolls in here. And you're good to go. So you guys can create multiple menus, multiple uh, groups by just adding these groups. And then once you create that menu, it's it's going to be a whole thing. So I would create more, but it's just more rolls and stuff. So you're just going to keep copying what I did in this video. And you're going to be good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope um, you guys understood me clear, even though my uh, voice is a little bit scuffed. And other than that, uh, this is Ultimate Burrito from Ultimate Gaming Lounge, and I hope you guys have an ultimate day. I'll catch you around.